Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. I have a mint in my mouth. We're going inside right now for a birthday party at my sister's house. So let's go inside. Yeah, put them over this way further. Do it again, Dana. <laughs> Do the same thing. <laughs> put them over this way further. Ready? Faster with two of us, funnier with two. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty pitiful. You know, it's right. Yeah. He rides in that? Yeah. I've got to see this. So we're at this little antique shop right now. Oh my gosh, that's $85. No way. $85. They have little cute candles. I wonder if these are like homemade or something. I love stores like this. Little hats. Coffee is my love language. I love that. I said that to somebody one time. It's me. Of records here. This is gospel. Manny, look at this. This is cool. It's a vintage, like Polaroid. It's like really cool. It's not even that bad. Seventy-four dollars. That's really cool. This is a Kenny Rogers album. Me with my Whitney Houston shirt on. <laughs> okay, so we are heading home right now. It's 444 right now. Um, we're driving my mom and dad's car and uh, they have a different car right now. So we're driving theirs home. Um, so yeah, anyways. We went to a birthday party and then we at my sister's house and um, got to see her house a little bit. She has redone a lot of things. Um, so I was at my other sister's house the other day, but my sister Dina, today I went to her house and she has like, she's done a lot to her house. Um, redecorated and also just uh, done a lot of stuff to it. So anyways, um, it looked really nice in there, so she wanted me to come see it because I hadn't seen it yet. Haven't been there in, in years. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I wore these earrings today that have lightning bolts on them. I think they're really cute. And also, I'm wearing a Whitney Houston shirt that I got from Target. Um, I'm wearing shirts like this. I'm wearing leggings from, uh, what is it called? 90 Degree by Reflex. They are so nice i love that brand of leggings they're really nice and super inexpensive at marshall's cj maxx places like that what do you have is that a bird it's a bird is it yes oh no she killed a bird what is wrong with this cat she this cat kills everything hey hey drop it is it dead or alive probably oh, oh, from home Oh my gosh. That's sad. Absolutely not. You're not gonna no. He's probably trying to find dad to show him. Pork rinds. Manny and Mom are in there having pork rinds, or as Manny would call them, pork grinds. They love to do this. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. Um, I just have some coffee in me in this huge cup because there wasn't any other ones. I think the ones in the dishwasher are actually clean, but I just grabbed this one. I'm sitting out here while we're staying with my parents. My mom's letting me use this little desk um, in their office space um, because I like to do my planning and stuff like that at the desk. So. She's really sweet and is letting me use a desk out here. So I have my planner in front of me, but I'm I'm gonna just spend some time in the in the word for a few minutes. I'm gonna uh, get my bullet journal out because that's where I kind of put some 
uh, prayer stuff down and then also uh, just I don't know I have little pages for for different things in here just so I can kind of document what God's doing in my life and in my heart and it's just a really um, you know it's my favorite way to kind of dig in the word um, you know is to get my Bible or Bible app or whatever um, most of the time I use my Bible app because I have devotionals going on there that I like to do in the morning. So I do that and then I have like a place here in my bullet journal. Um, so I, I titled it Secret Place uh, where I just kind of go with God and, and write down, you know, different things I'm reading about my devotional and just kind of have some time with him. And then I have over here a um, pray page and then a listen page. I can show you here. Pray and listen. Let me show you better. So I pray and then I have listen. I have washi tape all around it. Um, but I just kind of put like things that I have in my heart to pray for. Um, prayer requests, whatever. Um, and then over here I put listen because anything that God is speaking to me or speaking to my heart, I want to write on this page. So this is what I've been doing for a while. I've done it in different ways. Um, but I like this pray and listen. Thing I'm doing for August in my little journal. So, anyways, um, yeah, so I'm kind of having some time with God and uh, just some devotional time. And I, I showered already this morning. This morning we're actually it's Sunday, so um, we're actually going to uh, visit since I haven't been there in a while. The church that I led worship for um, when I was living in Indiana. I grew up in a church, um, and then I, you know, was on their worship teams, did worship leading for them at their main campus. And then uh, they asked me to be their worship leader at their first ever satellite campus, so their second campus, the first one they ever had. And um, I, I did that. Manny and I were there for years and um, helped build it up, and it was an amazing experience for us, and we're still so honored that they allowed us to do that. It was, it was a great opportunity. So um, we still talk to those people that are there. We're still um, friends with, you know, everybody there. I'm sure there's new people now, but everybody that was there while we were there and the campus pastor and stuff. So, um, it is a satellite campus, but they have live worship. And so that's what I did. And, and Manny, um, did what he does, you know, his, all his stuff that he's knowledgeable about in the tech department and sound and that kind of thing, media. Um, so anyways, we're going to go back today and visit them there. And it's actually not too far away from where I live and um, or where I, not where I live, but where I'm staying right now, um, where my parents live. So we're gonna go visit them today, but their service that we're going to starts at 11. So I have a little bit of time. This is one of the devotionals I've been doing and I told you guys about this um, in another vlog, but only one life, how a woman's, um, what does it say, how a woman's, Every day shapes an eternal legacy, I think is what it says. <laughs> it's hard to see because up there. Let me see if I can see going back. Yeah, how a woman's every day shapes an eternal legacy. So, anyway, it's a seven-day devotional, but I haven't been doing this one daily. I have, like, so many on here that I do. Um, so, I've just kind of been doing this one along with those. Um, so, anyways, this morning I'm going to do this. I only have a couple more that I'm going to be doing of this one. But anyways, I love this so much. It's such a good devotional. Um, and this is what I'm going to be reading today about Harriet Tubman. But it basically talks about women in history, biblical women, or just, um, you know, any women, basically, popular women that we know about. Um, and kind of puts it all in a biblical perspective. And, and uh, I just absolutely love this devotional. It's super, super good. Um, and I love the way they word things. And I just, I really enjoy this one. And then, of course, they give you the verses along with it just like any of these do so love this some other ones that i do some that i've recently started whatever are um these so learning to lead like jesus four days for deeper intimacy in marriage uh the soul of a worship leader the life of a worship leader really love those living worship elevation worship wake up the wonder they kind of go into their songs there um relaxing with god uh, lead like jesus there's just a lot on here that i just kind of go Different days I'll do a different one or I'll do more than one. So I love all of these. All right, so I'm all ready to go to church this morning. Um, like I said, they are a um, multi-site church. So I started, I helped launch one of their um, 
one of their campuses, which is the one I'm going to today. And then I haven't been uh, back since I've been home because I actually have, they have a new campus somewhere else that I went and checked out because they asked me to go and check that one out. Um, so I went there. So this is my first time back in a while at the church that I used to lead worship at. But i um, excited to go and check it out today. And um, like I said, they're, they're multi-site. So um, it's a really it's a good church, and I'm really excited to go back and, and check them out today. It's been a while since I've been there. Um, it's going to be super weird. Um, it's weird for me to go to church without doing anything because I'm not used to that. Um, uh, I know a new opportunity for leading and things like that is right around the corner, but that's really strange to go to a church without doing anything because since I was literally 10 years old, I have done something in church, um, like nonstop. So, and then I started leading um, full time, very young. So it's really weird to just go and sit in church. Um, and I know it's important to do that at times, but it's really strange to do that for me. So um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Just go and just be in church, which is different, but um, it's good. It's good after years of, of ministry and working in ministry constantly. It's good to, to take a break and take a step back, but I do miss it. And I'm excited to get back into that because that is very much my passion. And so yeah, we're gonna head out. So I'm wearing this like two-piece yeah, thing that I showed you guys before. I had to wear heels with it because of uh, it's really long. It needs hemmed, and my mom hasn't hemmed it. I don't know how, but um, I haven't worn heels in a long time. So let's see how this goes. Yeah. Cat has something else in her mouth. Look at this. We just came home, and she's got this still. Okay, so it's actually almost 7 p.m. right now. We went to lunch with campus pastor who I talked about before. I grew up with him at our church that we grew up in, which is uh, the main campus of the church we went to today. Anyways, I was more splitter there. So we went to um, lunch with him and his wife and some other people, my parents. And then um, we came home for just a few minutes and then we actually went over to his house, the campus pastor's house. Uh, we had some ice cream and just hung out with him and his wife and um, his family, some of his family. So, um, yeah, that's what we did today. It was really nice to catch up with them and talk to them. And, and um, yeah, really, really excited to be able to do that today and um, hoping to go back soon as well. Um, but, yeah, we had a good day. Finally got to catch up with them. And, uh, yeah, we had some really good ice cream. So, anyways, we're going to go inside right now. We're home now. So, I'm going to go ahead and just end the vlog for today. So, Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Do, 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 do.